Hi, I'm Sam Hagerman. I'm here at the Madrona Passive House in Seattle. We're talking about window installation. Um, this is a high-performance window installation detail sequence. Um, what we've got here is a 2x6 uh, structural wall that also will serve as the service cavity on the inside and then 3.5 inches of rock wall insulation to the exterior, so CI or continuous insulation, um, also referred to as monolithic exterior insulation uh, to the outside and then a ventilated rain screen, rain screen system outboard of that. That's yet to be applied to the building but this is our window in this building. This is a Zola uh, wood window uh, with a factory pre-stain on it and it's got a European style uh, ventilated cladding to the exterior. So uh, we can see previously the window opening being prepped. Um, with uh, Huber's zip system, liquid applied uh, tape substitute. Uh, a lot of people are used to seeing the black tape going over the green panels. This is uh, black material going over uh, where the tape would span. It's a very similar uh, product to the joint and seam filler that we use from Prosico. It's got a tensile fiber in it so that it will span gaps and it's black in color to match the Huber product. It's self-healing, uh, vapor permeable. We prep all four sides of the opening with this, we've got a sloped sill pan here, and um, the black material goes all four sides, wraps out onto the face of the building to accept the fastener load. So it heals around those fastener shanks around the each punched opening and comes to the inside of the rough opening and gives us um, a seal to which um, we can in the future apply our air dam, uh, which you'll see towards the end of this sequence. Um, here you can see the, on the finished install we've got um, the window in place, the air dam sealed to uh, the black material here. The white material is the air dam, so that's a caulk. As you can see in this system we've got um, our black material applied to the sill and the jams and the head of the framing. Well, the window goes in. Uh, right here we've got as an example the black here. This is the fastener clip. Uh, this fastener clip goes um, to the outboard side of the window frame and screws in in two places. These clips are placed at a sequence di uh, dictated by the manufacturer and then an additional fastener is driven into the framing here. So these clips are essentially what holds the window in structurally. The gap between the window then and the black uh, liquid applied material is filled with a product called Air Dam from Prosico. We've got um, caulking backer rod installed carefully uh, to the proper depth. Uh, the backer rod is the proper width for the gap. These are two principles that you must observe to get a good sealant joint. And then we mask off the window and we tool the joint. We never use our thumbs or the heels of our shoes or the handles of our hammers. We always use a proper tool and tool the joint. After all this work is done, we go through uh, just to make sure we've got a proper air seal here. Uh, you can see that the fastener for this clip here has been removed. Um, this allows us to go through a, a quick extra step at the end after all this air, air dam has dried. We go through and remove every other fastener and get air dam behind this. You can see there's wet material back here. And then when that dries, we'll refasten re this uh, and we'll pull out the other half of the fasteners and do the same thing. We found through experience that we get air leaks in these uh, installations during the blower, that show up during the blower door fan test where these clips come in. So we take the extra step of um, installing the window, installing the air dam all four sides, and then coming back and making sure we've got a little extra air dam under these clips, because these clips actually um, can compress our tile backer rod, and sometimes we, f we find we don't get a really consistent bead under there. So we come back and just take a little extra step at each window opening. Therefore, we've got our window from the factory. This is a good example in that it's a very simple picture frame window, non-operable uh, casement. Into the opening, we've got a liquid applied membrane, the black stuff that goes from the interior side of this window. So we bring it in, not all the way into the framing because we waste that material right here, but just in. We don't have to do it super accurately, as you can see, um, just to save time. Uh, the window goes in, structural clips, uh, mount it to the frame of the building, uh, backer rod and air dam go in, so now we've got an airtight assembly from window through highly elastic 
sealant uh, down to the liquid applied membrane that then transitions to the outside face of the building. From the exterior, we will insulate in between the gap that results between the window and um, the framing will put uh, foam insulation on the jams and the head side or the equivalent and then on the bottom we'll stuff some rock sole scraps um, under there just to make sure that we've got uh, material that can handle some water if this system ever leaks it will leak onto that pan out onto the face and dry on our rain screen surface. So that is essentially a simplified version of how we install windows and um, that's going to be typical for every um, high performance window installation uh, on every project that we do.